Hey guys, it's been a while since I posted. Um, tonight's topic is a little different. I'm not going to talk about work. Um, I want to talk about life and a little bit of politics. Politics is not usually a conversation that I like to have with people. Um, but recently had a friend kind of badger me into talking about it. And, you know, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And finally I was like... I think the, our society is out of control. Our government is reckless and our society has lost its, its concept of right and wrong. And the analogy that I always use when I'm talking about politics is that you can boil a frog in, in boiling hot water. And you can boil it to death. And you can't throw the frog into a pot of boiling water. You gotta put it in lukewarm water and then slowly increase the temperature. And the frog will acclimate. Every time you turn up that temperature five degrees, the frog acclimates to it and it becomes the new normal. And I feel like that's uh, the way our society's become. To where every day we get more and more isolated from each other um, right and wrong get so confused that you know no one really knows which way is up um, I I told my my friend my colleague that we can do better than that but it is possible to live in a better world than that and he called me idealistic for it and I told him that he's idealistic for thinking that getting boiled alive is somehow okay. Um, on a side note, but a related note, we got married a couple days ago. My wife is sitting next to me. She told me to not include her in this video and threatened me with a flaming hot poker um, if I did. So she's not going to be included in this video. But she's sitting next to me. Babe, can you say hi? She said hello. <laughs> um, and just a lot of things at once that got me thinking. Like we owe it, we owe it to our children to to do better. And it is possible. It's not idealistic. It actually is possible. There's a strength factor that a lot of people surrender to the powers that be, you know, your government, your boss, your, yeah, whoever it is in your life that's, that's taking that power away from you, telling your kids what to believe, things like that. A lot of things have me thinking this week, but I've been blessed to, to find a woman that is not only loyal and, and kind, but uh, sincere in the in the good and the bad she's sincere and she recognizes those things the same way that I do so when I told her I was going to make a little YouTube video next to the fire she goes for what purpose and I was like I just want to sit by the fire and take a video and I was kind of embarrassed to tell her that actually to be honest and then when I explained to her why I wanted to take the video she's like I want to sit next to you and you guys have no idea how much that actually means. That that we're actually not alone, you know? Um, there are other people that look at the world around us and say, that's not right. There's There's got to be a way to do better. And we feel so isolated in saying that out loud. But the truth is, um, there are people that will stand beside you and agree with you and support that and I'm not a radical I'm not into politics a whole lot but I think the thing that's missing from our country is is that concept of right and wrong that there are some things that are probably in the gray area but there's definitely things that are right and there's definitely things that are wrong and just want to encourage you guys to keep being good at your trade and to really hold on to that your family 
your community and and to do right by those things.